this is our floor texture with no blood um i believe it's from quixel mega scans and let's crack those lights a bit maybe four okay just to see what's going now you need to add your blood um this is our just node setup for my texture base color roughness and uh, normal map I'll add image texture and I have it here because I was using it this texture is like leaking or blood or anything but it looks like water so it is like this what you basically need to do is masking this texture it's from quixel mega scans I guess um with some noise to make it appear here or here or here and disappear from any other area okay so what i will do is add noise map and uh, color ramp okay and uh, let's view from the color ramp perspective okay i need first to add mapping to this setup so i'll do this and i need to separate it from the mapping that connected to our base textures so i'll add mapping here just for the blood Okay, this vector and I need it to be a bit smaller so the scale is 2 and maybe maybe I'll move it a bit like this because I need blood here and here and let's play with the noise map I think it's very small now maybe we can make it three is good and detail I need to crank the details up high 15 and the roughness just a little bit because blood is not like this smooth and not this harsh blood is in between so 0.56 is good for me and now to play with our color ramp basically what you need to do with this noise texture is to make it very contrasty so uh, we are viewing from our color ramp now and we need to increase our contrast just to make this our mask for the blood this is a blood texture and we need it to be the mask for our blood we will mix this and uh, those uh with mix uh with mix node later but now we just we need to make our mask so our color ramp is here so we need it to be harsh like this is good and also i need the light to be harsh so i'll do this uh maybe this is good now it's very contrasty uh i think you know that any area with light or white is uh appearing in the texture and uh, any black areas are disappearing so this is what we will do we will make this texture appear in just the white areas and disappear in any black area this is simply it so i will contrast this texture also because now it is very like bland and it's meant to be roughness texture so it is not cranked in lights or blacks so i will add another color ramp to this texture and i will mix those together but first i need to adjust this color ramp okay 
just a bit not like this this is too contrasty i need this to be a little bit contrasty and uh, don't care too much about this utility row or these textures uh, color space because i'm using aces uh, it's not necessary um just uh, work with your blender it's good so i need to crack those lights a bit maybe this is enough and those areas also so here you see i just eliminated uh, the areas with unnecessary blood or unnecessary water texture those were very light and those were very dark so i just need to make a little bit of contrast Okay, this is good now no blood is very big like this so I'll also connect our textures with the same mapping node now it's very smaller now see what happened if we mix those two together I'm just uh, using uh, control shift and drag you can add mix node it's not any different Mix color. Okay. Just go to A. Go to B. And see our noise texture. Our mix, I guess. Now we need it to be multiply. We don't need to mix. Because if we mix it those with mix blended. Uh, at zero, you will just see the noise. And at one, you will just see the blood and we need the blood to combine with uh, our noise map so we will use uh, multiply and where is my multiply yes it's here so this way our blood is just appearing in those areas this is what i wanted um but here is like concentrated blood and here there is no blood at all so we need to just reduce this factor a bit just like this yeah I think that's good now we made our mask we need to make it red and mix it with our base color so any area with white in it will be red and will be connected to our base color so I'll just add another mix node and connect those uh, results into our factor and connect our um, uh, color into socket A and let's see now we have our factor that is what we have done here and color A is our base color from our regular texture and now we need to make it red so I'll just zoom a bit and make this color red yes this is our blood very saturated here but I like this now we have our blood so if you connected this to our base color and view our texture now we have blood on the floor and it looks good in my opinion you can stop here or i didn't stop here actually i added a bit of realism and also combined those masks with our roughness texture to make the blood more shiny um the blood is uh, very very specular if they have sharp speculars not like uh, wood floors uh, wood floors are very rough so we will add um, color ramp to this let's take this and reset it okay and take this into our color ramp and if I now connected this 
with my roughness it would be very ridiculous so any area with pitch black will be very heavy on a specular and uh, any area with white uh, will be very rough so this is not blood at all so I will just invert this to make the blood the black area the shiny area and make the wood is uh, white area where the roughness is very high and also I need to make it a little bit contrasty so here is good for me and now I need to mix my roughness with this color ramp so I will make another mix node and make it color I'm using a uh, blender 3.6 so in blender 4 I guess uh, there is no difference so what I will do is mix this roughness texture with our black spots of blood to make the blood more shinier or less rough so I will add my color ramp to socket B and my roughness to socket A and it doesn't matter if you switch it those because we will not use mix mix is changing our base roughness so look here if we um, chose to uh, use mix blend uh, look at our roughness here look at this shade of gray when I switch to view from this mix you will see that our mix made this floor more rough uh, it increased its whiteness so look at this gray this is like mid grays look at this our floor cranked up to be very white and this um, will in will reduce our uh, uh, sorry will increase our roughness because it's white very white actually so i'm using multiply also look now our texture is like mid grays here same grays but was added blood this is what multiply do it is just multiplying values so let's connect this to our roughness and see the areas this is particular um, when I looked here I found this area very shiny actually I will reduce these packs to make it in mid grays um, this is enough for me let's view this yeah this is good it was very shiny now let's view our dramatic scene and let's go to our world make it like 1.5 yes this is our dramatic lighting back if you need any help just send me